My brother is as stubborn as you are sometimes. But I trust him. The bishop has to see this letter. My pony needs to be fed soon. Should I take some? I will take just a couple. Who am I to approach the bishop at dusk like a thief? <clears throat> God. Tell me, what do you want me to do? Why would the bishop see me? St. John's Chapel is smaller than this side building. I may lead only a small cell, but that does not mean my matters are of less importance. My pony should be fed. Do I just take some hay? My pony needs to be fed. go. You're still hungry, aren't you? Here. I already took some. I shouldn't take too many. <clears throat> oh, why must I be so nervous? I trust Francis. He knows about these things. How can I help you? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have disturbed you. The bishop is used to seeing visitors on urgent matters. Who may I tell the bishop is visiting? I am the prior of St. John in the Forest. <clears throat> and what, may I tell Bishop Whalerin, is the reason for your visit? The bishop insists that I ask. I carry a letter that proves there will be a war. A war? Yes. But the bishop may be able to stop it. It is urgent, then. I will let the bishop know that you are here. Please, uh, wait here a short while. What lies beyond this gate? Oh, I should not distract myself like this. Hello? Yes? The bishop will see you now.
the right reverend Bishop Whalerin by God. Please, sit down. <coughs> Thank you, right reverend. Please, call me Whaleran. <coughs> Timothy informed me you are the prior of... St. John in the Forest, Right Reverend. Then you must be Philip of Gwyneth. <coughs> I'm surprised you know my name. As bishop, I am the ex-officio abbot of Kingsbridge. So, I am bound to take an interest. Well, God has blessed us in St. John. I wish God would confer similar blessings on Kingsbridge Priory. Timothy said you were talking about a... a war. I expect you know that Stephen of Blois has claimed the throne of England. With the blessing of the church. Already? I had heard of plans and of aspirations. This is very good. I have met Stephen. As bishop, I am much involved in politics. Of course, the church can never be involved enough. Hmm. Now, how do you know of this? Ah, your brother Francis is working for Earl Robert of Gloucester, is he not? Did he tell you? <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, Francis mentioned this to me. He is indeed working for the Earl of Gloucester. You mentioned a war. Tell me, Philip, why are you here? Oh. Was I wrong to come to you, my bishop? Maybe I should have taken the letter to the Sheriff of Shiring. Eustace is ungodly, arrogant, grasping and corrupt. So are all sheriffs. Philip, how did you get this letter? I found it among Prior James's documents in Kingsbridge. I am staying there for a few days. Prior James? May he rest in peace. Did he not order everything to be burned? You know about this? Sub-Prior Remedius mentioned it once. I asked them not to burn James's books. The brothers agreed. Well... And there you found the letter? Yes. Timothy, leave us. And did you find anything else? No, just the letter. The messenger carrying it had an accident and died near Kingsbridge. My brother Francis heard he disappeared there. It was his idea to look for the letter. He wants to protect the king and our church, even if that means going against his own master. Robert of Gloucester. I see. A war would cost so, so many lives. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend the book of Job. But this is not the work of God, but of Earl Bartholomew. You and your brother have done the right thing. I will call on friends of mine. Pray for us that we can put an end to Bartholomew's plan before it is too late. You did a brave thing for our church, Brother Philip. A brave thing indeed. Ah. <sighs>
You'll go back to Kingsbridge Priory now and forget about the Sheriff, won't you? I will. And, uh, don't speak of this to anyone there. I shan't. Yes, but I'm not going on foot. Time to leave, old friend. Did you pack enough food? It will be a while before you get to eat smoked venison again. Yeah, yeah, I took some. Anyone seen Martha? She said she had to piss. All right. I'll uh, go get her. You're a mason too, right? Uh-huh. So, what have you built so far? I'm sure Jack would love to hear about your work. <laughs> Houses. out there. I don't want to get robbed again. My mother will protect you. She's strong, isn't she? Papa usually protects me. But he can't always be around. He needs to take care of himself too. You need to learn to defend yourself. I want to, but I'm still so small. And I want to stay here where it's safe. This knight is Charles the Great. He will protect you. Oh. Am I his princess? You are. Together, you are brave and smart, and will never give up. <laughs> All right. I have to stay steadfast. Thank you, Jack. Martha! Where are you? Come on. We're going on a great quest. On our way, I told Martha the names of my trees. There was the birch, Jerusalem, and the oaks, Alexandria and Byzantium. When I pointed out Rome, she laughed and named an apple tree Southampton. The farther we walked, the merrier she became, christening all the new trees Winchester, Bath, Salisbury, while I grew quieter and quieter. Finally, we arrived at a large road. This heads towards Shiring, Tom said. The strangest name of them all. By noon, we had reached the edge of town. Mother gave us some dry prunes to chew while she argued with Tom whether we should head directly to town or past the palace of the so-called bishop. Tom was hopeful to find work at the palace, but Mother seemed uneasy.
Mother seemed happy to head directly into town and avoid the palace. These churchmen are all crooks, she said. But Tom answered with a worried expression on his brow. They might be the only ones willing to hire a mason around here. A servant to the Bishop of Shiring agreed to talk to Tom. He was hesitant, but not unwilling to hire a master builder for the winter. His expression changed, though, when he noticed Mother and me. I am sorry, he said, not unkindly. Maybe the Earl of Shiring will hire you. His castle is nearby, and I heard he may be in dire need of people like you. He smiled encouragingly, then sent us off, claiming his bishop had business to attend to at Kingsbridge Priory. You don't know me. You're misjudging whatever it is I did. I'm willing to forgive your mistake if you accept my offer now. This is all about family honor to you, isn't it? Perhaps I should tell you about my mother. She was a happy person who loved to laugh and tell stories. But father made her miserable. Oh, he's not a bad man, but solemn and strict. She hated him so much she died from it. Are you saying you don't like me? You're so self-centered. You never think about anyone else's feelings. You have no refinement and you can barely read. What were you expecting? One day you will see that you are wrong. And then I won't be so forgiving. All right. Let's hope it's true and the Earl needs us. Yeah, I'm starving. Alfred, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. And boys, try to be nicer to each other. An eye out for what? Papa wants him to look for things that are broken. Some people don't know they need a mason until you show them. Papa could fix their walls or build a house. One man can build an entire house? <laughs> I want to see. Learn what you can. But don't stray too far. Ugh. Why won't anyone just give me something to eat? Jack, be careful. Don't get too close. Hello, Jack. Have you ever been to a castle before? No. Castles are very safe places. People don't rob you so fast. Hmm. Mother told me stories about castles, about knights and princesses. Oh, like what? Like the one about Tristan and Isolde. They drank a potion and had to love each other for three years. I know that one. Jack, do you think there's a princess in this castle? It would be so nice to see a real princess one day. Stay sharp, Jack. People are rarely what they seem. See that knight over there? What does he look like to you? Look closely. He looks like a small bear. <laughs> True. But even small bears can have an appetite for blood. Just because we are out of the forest, that doesn't mean there are no wolves about. What do you want? Get lost. I can't believe it. 
leave the Earl a lady's daughter to refuse him. How scandalous. Well, William Hamley is an idiot. I wouldn't marry him either. She deserves someone better. Such a very bright and charming girl. No, she's an arrogant one. Just like her father. Don't see that. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jack. We are? Why, you want to be like us? Like you? Tell you what, snatch us some food from the keep and we might train you. Very good. That should be a valuable first lesson. Watch your step, you little twit. Don't mind him, boy. That's just William Hamley. He was hoping for a princess, but all he got was a boot. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Do you think he forgot something? His dignity, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you strike me as an honest worker, but we have a right who does all the repairs for us. Then something else, maybe? I heard rumours that there's all kinds of work here. Well, unfortunately, it's not builders we're looking for. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I understand. Thank you for your consideration. Walk with me, boy. So, have you heard about anyone else who might need a mason? Hmm. Last summer they were building at the monastery in Shaftesbury, but they might be finished now. Even a fool can see these buildings need work. If the Earl's not worrying about his stores and his kitchens, it might be something else. You can build castles? Well, if I have the money and the people, yes. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll show you how it's done. Hmm. What do you need work for? It pays. It buys shelter and clothing and we don't have to starve. Not everyone can live in a forest, boy. No? No. People need to be around people. And for that, things have to be set in stone. Like the laws in towns, or rents, or wages. If everyone did whatever they liked, things would get very bad very quickly. They refused you. Oh, just because work really falls into one's lap, that doesn't mean there is none. I'll give this place a look over while you tell your mother to be patient. I'm going to talk to some people. You just keep an eye out. And if you see something I can fix, let me know.
Have you found Tom? He's still trying to get work. Then you should go back to him and learn how he succeeds. What if he fails? Well, he is stubborn and proud. Whatever happens, there will be a lesson. Something tells me you should go and help Tom. What is it, boy? Can't you work somewhere else? Not if we want to eat tonight. What are you looking for? Something to convince the Earl that keeping things the way they are won't do for long. Could be something small, like washed out mortar or a loose column. Now, I need to see the hole before I can carve the rock. There's a wall without mortar. If that's true, you have a very keen eye. Now, see if you can spot any more damage. Even better, keep an ear out for gossip about the Earl. If we can figure out what kind of man he is, we might learn what's important to him. Come on, bring us something tasty. The keep is right up there. You want to become a knight, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. The Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. Lady Aliena? A charming young woman. She lives on top of the keep. Like a princess? Well, no. Although, I suppose she would make a splendid queen indeed. For now, she is just the Earl of Shiring's daughter. And quite good at her role, if I may say so. And farewell to you.
We have followers all over the south of England. Of course. You're the Earl, after all. A title doesn't guarantee anything, my son. I don't understand. Is that why you sent all those letters? We only know what's happening in the south. But Earl Robert is in the west. Together we control the entire southwest. Not all of it. But we have messengers in place to keep us informed about everything. Now, be quiet for a moment. I need to think. I found this in the Keep's kitchen. Can you teach me how to be a knight now? Shit. Oh, no. You shit, shit, shit. You can't just steal from the Earl. We were messing with you, lad. Just messing. Put that thing away. Quick. Let's pretend we didn't see it. Listen, put that thing away. Alfred said he was hungry. Where did you get that? Just eat it. Well, all right. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Did you know there's a princess living here? Well, I heard the Earl has a daughter, but that's about it. The well is in bad repair. It is? Yeah, very good, Jack. That's one thing the Earl needs to get fixed for sure. Now, see if you can spot one more area of damage. And tell me if you learn anything about the Earl. Did you know there's a princess living here? Well, I heard the Earl has a daughter, but that's about it.
Hey, boy, come here. Say, what do you think about Tom? He's nice. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. He may seem nice, but he really doesn't care about anyone but himself. Whatever you do, he doesn't care. He'll just drag you into his own misery. So take my <laughs> advice. If you and your mother want to stay, you better learn to shut up and put yourself second. That's all I'm saying. There are so many knights here. Do you think there's also a princess? There is one. What? There is a princess here. Oh, show me. My lady. Yes, Matthew. There are two children downstairs, desperately wanting to see you. Children? A rather cheerful little girl, and an annoying boy. Well, considering that it is my role to tend to my father's guests, I believe I can see them. Your father let you renounce a wedding. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you declined this as well. <laughs> but a cheerful little girl? And an annoying boy. We will get along. You may bring them up. Oh, it's you. I noticed you and your parents from my window. What can I do for you? Um... You're quite shy, aren't you? Would you like something to eat? But they won't serve food yet. They do what I tell them. I will have Matthew get you some bread. Yes, please. Where's <coughs> your mother? My mother died. Aren't you sad? I was, but that was a long time ago. My brother Richard can't even remember her. My mother's dead too. When did she die? Last week. Oh. Who's that woman with you then? That's my mother. And where's your father? Did he run off? Some men are such beasts. I never had a father. <laughs> Where did you come from then? From my mother. All young things come from their mothers. What have fathers got to do with it? I think you should have a word with your mother. Come on, I want to show you something. Have you ever been up this high before? No. Wow. All the people look so small. Like little mice. You must be up here every day. I used to. But nowadays I try to hold myself back. Why? We are about to make some great enemies. If our first assault fails, they may want to lay siege to our castle, so I will have to get used to staying up here for a long while. I suppose this view will bore me soon enough. Till then, I'm trying to keep it special. And you're sharing it with us? 
I don't think that I'll ever get bored by this. Come on, let's go back down. Matthew will take you to your parents. How did it go? Oh, she was so pretty. Don't you agree, Jack? Hmm. Lady Aliena is expecting an attack. An attack? So, the Earl is planning to go to battle. That's very helpful, Jack. Now, see if you can spot one more area of damage. Alfred is angry. What? Why? He says you're selfish and don't care about him. Thank you for telling me, Jack. I, I will talk to him later. You there, what do you want? My father and I have important business, so go play in the yard with the other children. Stop right there. I'm sorry, boy, but Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. I want to see the lady. My, you are just as rude as her previous visitor, aren't you? All want, but no manners. Can I see her? May I see her? May I? As I said already, she won't receive any more visitors today. At least not any scoundrels. Not after that Hamley boy tried to propose to her, again. She'd rather enjoy some quiet than another wide-eyed piglet who thinks himself a minstrel. Now don't start singing, please. May I see the lady? <sighs> I told you, she is not in the mood for pushy boys right now. She'd prefer someone a little more pleasant. Hamley? Yes, Percy Hamley's son, William. Now, off you go. If you want something, talk to me.
Tom wouldn't find work here. This looks good to me. Is anything broken here? My nose, I guess, and a few of my ribs. And apart from that, we're fine. I don't know. I don't know. Is anything broken here? They're not talking to me. This looks good to me. I should tell Tom. <laughs> I don't know. Tom wouldn't find work here. This isn't broken, is it? I don't know. What is it, boy? Just want to stand there and stare. All right, then, let's see what you've got. Ah, reckoned you'd be as ballsy as your ginger, but my mistake. Another time, perhaps. Cheers, lad. Another chance. Are you a knight? No talking. Had to be cheating. Chickened out again. Shame. Will you be fighting soon? Why are you asking? All right, let me tell you a secret. Can you keep a secret? What color is your shite boy? Brown. Nice. Mine's gray, like ash. But that's a secret, isn't it? For my shite's color is neither your nor anyone else's business. So you'd better keep that to yourself. Got it? Hmm. Huh. What a strange boy.
The battlements are broken. I noticed that already. Well, that should do for now. Now, stay sharp. You did a very good job, son. Now, come along. You deserve to see if it works. Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. Why do you say that? Your defences are in bad repair. The specific man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Anything else? Yeah. The keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent that? I'd have a pile of stone, ready shaped, and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. And a mason standing by, ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. Matthew, may I have a word with you? Well, we have a home. For now. Is that all right for you all? Of course. Alfred? Why are you asking me? Because you're a builder. And I think you have a say in it too. It's fine with me. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. It's time we put a roof over our heads. And thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. Little did we know then that it wouldn't last for long. <laughs>